Hey guys, this is Amber with TheLoveGal.com and YouTube.com backslash TheLoveGal and LawOfAttractionBlueprint.com. Today's video is going to be about how to use the Law of Assumption to get the maximum results that you are looking for. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified about when I upload new videos. Now, my next video that I put out may be the one that you need to see to help you. Quick testimonial. Uh, I've been starting my videos with that. Um, this one's I have on day. Hi Amber, hope all is well. Just wanted to tell you about a month ago, I used your scripting packets and wanted to make 2,000 a month. And recently I received an abundance of income making 2K in three days. It's a new normal for me for multiple streams of income. I just wanted to say thank you for all that you do. It's so easy to manifest money now. Before we get started, the link to my manifestation tools, my how to manifest, ebook my 16 different scripting sheets my raise your vibration audio everything is going to be linked below in my description box and it's going to be available for instant download now if something happens where you enter your email wrong or something like that just get in contact with me i have a contact page on my website so but before we get into the steps what is the law of assumption to break it down easily what you assume to be true ends up being true in your reality later basically you're writing a new story and eventually it's going to come true if you want the exact definition hold on i'll get it for you hold on so according to millennialgrind.com the law of assumption states that whatever you assume as true becomes your reality what i just said so the key to using the law of assumption to manifest your desires is assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled okay like i said there's something that you want specifically so let's get into it step one i know i said relax but i want you to take a few deep breaths like you're having a breathing test and you're trying to get a just <sighs> breathe in and breathe out step number two i want you to think about something that makes you happy and this does not have to be related to anything that you're trying to manifest for me i think um What's easiest for me, I think of a person that makes me happy. Um, I think about the times, the memories. I think about all of that. I say I like affirmations like I love when we do this. I love when we have fun. I love when they're vulnerable. I love when we were locked in with each other. I love that time we have fun at a club. Da, 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 da. That's the type of things that I do. I say affirmations. I think about memories and a person that makes me really happy. This raises your frequency, raises your vibration. And it's really helpful if you're having a not so great day. So, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> um, step number three, I want you to say or script your intention and what you want. So if you're saying things out loud, say it as if it already has happened. I am so happy that Jerry called me today. We had an amazing conversation. Or I am so happy that I get to pick up my new keys to my new car and I'm about to drive on the freeway and play my favorite music. I am so glad and I am excited that I got the keys to my new crib. I really passed my test with an A. I passed my test with an A. Or I really just got promoted. I got promoted at my new job. Say your intentions as if it already has happened. Because with the law of assumption, you're assuming things are going to be true, right? So, next, I want you to visualize it happening to you as if it already happened. Whatever it is that you want, keep going as if you already have it. Basically, I want you to create a commercial in your head. I want you to create a commercial in your head about receiving whatever it is that you want already. You already put your intentions out there and you scripted it, scripted it. Either you had scripted, you said it out loud, or you did both. Your vibrations are high. You're visualizing yourself receiving it. Rerun that commercial in your head about four or five times. Four or five times. And I highly recommend you do this exercise right before bed and right when you wake up. Before you do anything, before you actually open your eyes, visualize it happening to you. Do this every day until you get it. Now, you don't have to dwell on it. If you're going to dwell on anything, do not dwell on on when or how if you're gonna dwell on anything dwell on the new story that you just created you received this or you did that once the subconscious mind is 
has believed that this has already happened, certain things in the universe is going to start to be put in place so you can get your wish fulfilled. I want to give a quick example on what happened. I was talking to my best friend on the phone and this was before I got back into a relationship. Look, so, but I was talking about a whole different dude, right? And let me tell you, I had not seen this dude in three, four years or something like that. Hadn't talked to him, none of that. But I just didn't know how to approach the situation. There were things that were left unsaid. I felt like there were things that were unfair to me. He had moved on or whatever. And once you move on, you didn't, you got a whole situation. I'm not about to be hitting you up, playboy. I'm just not. So, so I'm talking to my best friend on the phone. Mind you, I'm saying things. I, what I want. She asked me. She, we we're talking about it. She was like. So what you want out the situation? Like you want to talk to him or whatever, but like, like what do you want to gain from it? And I said, clarity. Mind you, I had not seen this man. I had not seen him. I had not talked to him. I deleted whatever old number I had. Don't even know if he got a new number. I went on about my day. That was the night before. The next day, um, me, my mom, and my sisters are about to take a road trip up to uh, Missouri. So we go to the store and we're getting snacks. Mind you, this man, he doesn't live on my side of town. He doesn't. Um, he lived at least 30 minutes away. Keep that in mind. We were already out running errands. We were going to get the rental truck. We were like just knocking stuff out before we had to take this road trip, right? And the H-E-B that we were going to go to, I'm in Texas. So the H-E-B that we were going to go to was about 20 minutes from where I live. There's one up the street from my house, but the one that we're going to was like 20 minutes away because it would buy all the stuff, right? Uh, I remember being in the parking lot and I was like, mama, um, maybe we should go get the truck and then go to H-E-B because like we running uh, late on time, the rental place is about to close. So we might as well go get it and then go get, go to H-E-B or whatever. We end up going to the store, going to the store by my house. So we're in the store. We're going to get all the road trip snacks and stuff like that. Y'all already know what's about to happen. So we're in the store and we're going up the aisle, like the one of the main aisles. And my mama stopped and was like, oh, I need to grab some lotion. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna keep going to go get uh, some snacks or whatever. She said, okay. So I go get the snacks and she's still nowhere to be found. So I'll go back to the lotion aisle. I'm walking up the aisle or whatever. And I look up, why is he standing right next to my mama? I see him, but he does not see me. And I see him and just butterflies. Like, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom like my my insides just start churning one i'm in here looking a mess you hear me oh my gosh but he is standing right next to my mother and i'm like his back is turned the only reason i recognize him because one he sits sits two he was uh on the lotion aisle but he had turned his head his profile bro what the i know i said i wanted to talk to him but the universe said, all right, boom, here he go right here. He was not supposed to be in that HB. -E. Like it just, we were not supposed to be in that HB. -E. We're going to another one, another one. So I gave that example to tell you things are going to start being put in place. He was put there at that exact time, standing right next to my mother. We ended up at that HB -E at the same exact moment. So whatever it is that you're asking for, be prepared because things are going to start shifting in your favor to get what you want. After I seen him on the aisle, I, I wasn't ducking. I went behind him, but I'm trying to like kind of disguise myself because I don't want him to see me looking a mess after all these years. Mind you, I'm just trying to prep for a road trip. Well, as I came behind him and I'm talking to my mom, I'm about to go to a different aisle because so-and-so is right behind me. She go, who? I said, mama, remember when I told you about so-and-so? She was like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's him I said yeah and I'm here looking a mess she's like okay so I'll go to like the trash bag aisle later on my mama was like um are you sure he didn't see you I was like I don't think so because I was behind him and the way I was maneuvering my body I don't know if he's just recognizing me from behind or whatever but she was like, are you sure because he started acting real funny after you left I said interesting I don't know but I had to give that story because certain, like I said, things are gonna be shifted in your favor. If you assume things and you want things and you put your intentions out there, things are gonna start to happen. 
that encounter technically was not supposed to happen. I was not supposed to see him. He was not supposed to be at the HB up, up the street from my house. None of that. After I remember after the conversation with my best friend, like I wasn't really thinking about it. Like I was like, I want clarity, da da da. We go on, we talking about something else. But as I'm on a trash bag aisle, I call her and I'm low-key hyperventilating. <laughs> I call her, I'm like, best friend. She's like, what's wrong? Like, I was like, you remember we just talked about this, right? I was like, bro, he's in the store with me right now. Like, I'm breathing hella hard. Like, oh my goodness. Just be careful what you ask for and be prepared for it because it's coming. Your new story, whatever you went through in the past, it does not matter. Whatever it is you're going through right now, it does not matter. Create a story that you want and it will be fulfilled eventually. I can't say I was going to be fulfilled in like three minutes. I can't say that because it depends on what it is and all the different variables and how long your angels and ancestors and God and takes time to put the, the play together for you. I am Amber with the love and youtube.com backslash love gal. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. New videos are coming soon. All of my manifesting tools, scripting sheets, uh, how to manifest ebook, everything's going to be linked below. And until next time, I thank y'all. I love y'all. I hope you have the great rest of your day.